this recording, we look at the question, what is j to the power of j? And j is a complex number here that satisfies j squared equals negative 1. And when we're working out j to the power of j, the easiest way to do this is using complex exponential polar form. And in particular, we let z be equal to j, and we're going to rewrite this in the form z equals r e to the j theta. So drawing an argand diagram so that we can see what this looks like, then the real part of j is 0, and because it is just 1j, the imaginary part is 1. So the number j would be one unit up the vertical axis. And r is the distance of this number from the origin, which is just 1. And theta is the angle made anti-clockwise with the positive x-axis. And here that angle is 90 degrees, but in exponential polar form, we must always write theta in radians to get a valid answer. So in radians, theta would be equal to pi divided by 2. Hence, j is equal to 1 times e to the j times pi on 2. So that's 1 replacing r and pi on 2 replacing theta. That is, j can also be written e to the power of pi on 2 times j. But how does this help us? We didn't want to just work out j, we wanted to know what happens when we raise j to the power of j. But this form is helpful because having it in exponential form allows us to use index laws to get that j to the power of j is e to the pi on 2 times j raised to the power of j. And from there, when we have e to the power of a to all to the power of b, it just becomes e to the power of a times b. Therefore, j to the power of j, for instance, becomes e to the pi on 2j multiplied by j, which just becomes e to the pi on 2j squared. But we saw that j squared is just equal to negative 1. So that means that therefore, j to the power of j is just e to the power of pi on 2 times negative 1, which is e to the negative pi on 2, which interestingly you'll notice is a real number. And usually when we look at something like this, we'd expect maybe just to have one answer. But is this the only way to represent j to the power of j? In actual fact, it is not. Now when we were looking at writing j in exponential polar form, we said that this angle around here was pi divided by 2 radians. But it would also be equivalent to going around the circle again to get pi divided by 2 plus 2 pi is 5 pi on 2 radians. In fact, pi on 2 plus any integer multiple of 2 pi would also give us a representation of the complex number j. So that more generally, j in fact has argument or angle theta equal to pi on 2 plus 2k pi for integer k. And that means that when writing j in the form r e to the j theta, it's 1 e to the pi divided by 2 plus 2k pi times j, so that when we work out j to the power of j, again for simplicity I'll just ignore that 1, because 1 times e is just e, but we will get e to the power of pi on 2 plus 2k pi j raised to the power of j. And again, by index laws, that will become e to the power of pi divided by 2 plus 2k pi, and these will be multiplied again, so times j squared. And hence, 
it follows that in fact j to the power of j, that j squared up here will just become negative 1, so it becomes e to the power of negative pi on 2 plus 2k pi for any integer that is any whole number k. So it means that j to the power of j actually has infinite number of solutions and you'll notice it is interesting that they are also all real numbers. Thank you.